previously. And now we can... Yeah, let's just see how far we go on this then. Should be quite the journey. Now, judging by where the moon is in the night, we're halfway through the night. Uh, that means four and a half minutes of fishing, which should equate with a fast forward to around one minute of fishing. Somehow we didn't make that again. Sometimes these jumps are just... This is what I don't understand about the, the rails now. They, they act different every time you get on them. I'm not sure what it is. Right, whatever, we're close. If we take a running jump, we should probably make a bit of distance on this. Not exactly sure how close we'll get, but it'll be pretty close. It's getting quite warm in here as well now, because I've been recording for nearly three hours. Uh, yeah, my office is getting pretty hot. All this machinery wearing away. By machinery, I mean the Xbox. Absolutely pumping out a ton of heat. It's like a nuclear reactor or something. Just like the fuel rod straight in my face. Let's get over this. Letters. Inventory. Quickly put those on. I threw my wings away. No, I how my shoes on the floor now as well. Wings. There. Shoes. There. Oh, I look beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Stunning, in fact. Right, drink that drink. I'm going to be back in a moment. Solar eclipse is happening. How freaking perfect. Uh, actually, that might not be too bad. Uh, we could stay here and catch stuff. We could also go to our arena and let everything die in the... Holy crap! Whew. Everything die in the lava, which might be the case if things like this keep wanting to come in there. Kill me. But this is going to be a great way to get lots of maps. So I might just stay here.
guys, our fishing potions have now worn off with uh, no more in reserve apart from fishing power potions here. But that's fine, we caught a lot of crates. 22 wooden, 3 iron and 1 golden. And that's, I think I missed 3 wooden through sheet incompetence. But that's fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to drop it down. If I equip stir... I never even put the tackle box on. Anyway, we want to be the mayor man. We want to have some wings. There we go. Let's drop down. And there should be a whole bunch of maps down here. Hopefully. We're going to get the one. Oh, we've got two. Okay. It's fine. Throw away that, throw away that, throw away that. Put that on. Throw away that. Right, we're going to go home. We're going to very, 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 very quickly... Uh, just gun some stuff down. Put on whatever it is we haven't got on, which is that. Go with a quick stack. Quickly, quickly. Quickly. There we go. Right. What we're now going to go and do is make our way as quick as we can over this area. We don't want to spend any time here in case any wraiths get in our base. Oh, crap. And attack our people. Because if they do, we could lose everybody. So we're going to get through it as quick and fast as we can. Ah. What we can do now is head over to our other... Um, Underwater base. So this is solar eclipse. I said it was bad, but it's actually gonna be really good for us Because it's a way to have enemies constantly spawning in our arena And there was no way to get that before other than a pumpkin moon or a frost moon And I didn't want to summon those because I would die because obviously my traps don't work and all that nonsense But if I can just get these lot over here Then we're sorted because I can get my arena to take care of them that way not with its traps, because they don't work, but with just the sheer lava that's there. Uh, the only thing that won't die from that will be the uh, reapers. But I can take care of reapers myself using my sickle or even my gatligator, I guess. Now, the one thing I've always hated about the solar eclipse is that, it, because it lasts a full day, that's 15 minutes, I think, of this ridiculousness and then immediately followed up by a night and knowing me it's gonna be a blood moon so <laughs> what you basically have is well, 35 minutes of pure darkness because of two nights and the solar eclipse in the middle of them oh well doesn't make for the best footage because the solar eclipses are so dark i know i'm saying this a lot but they're uh just pitch black, you can't see anything darker than any other thing, I believe. Right, so if I just, like, sit up here. Like this. Oh, i got stupid care some mud on. Even if I do that, I guess, I could be down there. And then I can shoot. So these guys should drop me maps. There's a vampire up there. Not much longer. Because I'm going to die. Holy crap, that eyes all nearly killed me. Killed the reapers with their own weapon. They'll never see it coming. Right, I'm going to stick on a little bit of a fast forward again. I know we've had a lot, but uh, there's not really I can do about that when we have um, nighttime fishing and also solar eclipse fishing and also solar eclipse. So I'll fast forward through this. Uh, I'm going to try and not get shot all the time by this little annoying pig monster. Everyone else can just go away. Oh, I think this little crypt has worn off now that hairplings are back. Okay, um... Yeah, so I noticed something. Uh, it might have been like this for a while, I don't know. I think it has, in fact. The lava destroys 
pirate maps. I forgot about that. Because I always pick up pirate maps when I'm doing this. It's not because they're in the lava. It's because when I sweep around to pick up treasure, pirate maps are on the sides here, aren't they? And that's how I end up with so many. So we didn't get any from that. Oh, well. Whatever. Right, we've got two at least. And we've got four back at home base. Let's go back there because we want to be back here anyway to, first of all, put away this fishing gear that we don't want. Uh, the hat. And then... Uh, we'll hold on to the tackle box for now. We've got some dyes and stuff. We can easily put that away. Let's see if we can get the range of this thing. Not bad. So it can reach upper shelves. If I like stand here, that should put away lots of stuff. Looks like it. Looks like it. Right, I've got lots of these to open, and we've also got lots of maps to. Yeah, let's take five of them. And then I want to open all these crates, but I want to do it in Walter's office so he gets everything from it added to his inventory. Let's get rid of the Gatligator. Let's get something new. We've had a little bit of fun. Oops. Let's bring out... Yeah, let's bring out the Candycon rifle. Which is some reason of a... There, uh, I thought I put it here. Anyway, it doesn't use mul mullets. It doesn't use muskets. <laughs> Musket balls. Mullets. My brain is just not working. It uses these. Candy corn. Actual candy corn. That should be fine. I think these bounce or ricochet or something. Yeah. Not greatly bouncing around, but you know what? Could be interesting to see. Bunch of treasure around. I'll take treasure. Right, let's put away what we can. Let's get rid of this. Let us choose the quick stack. Ah, no, we can't go to Walter's office yet, can we? Uh, I don't know what to do during the night time. There's stuff I want to do, but it's during daytime. Uh, I'd not a light build. Fishing, we've done it. For now, potions needs fishing, mining is new world, fighting, is there a Plantera? There is, let's go fight Plantera, it gives us something to do at least, as we wait for the night time to pass over, past you, and then go down there. You know, I think turning up the brightness has helped me, I'm not complaining as much. I think I only complained once, and that was because it was the, um... Solar Eclipse, which is dark. You can understand that. There's like no light whatsoever in that. I think it, even my torches look dark. I don't think it affects them, but they definitely look darker. Right, we'll get in here. We'll smash this up. We'll get Plantera dealt with. Not going to use the Canicon rifle as much as you may want me to. Uh, classic Horseman's Blade for this. Can't take any chances. Of stuff from that, none of it was uh, the axe, so quite simply, ah, it's bar, no, I don't know what happened to it. Oops, that's my magic mirror. Where's my magic mirror, guys? Guys, what happened to my magic mirror? Anyone? Hello? Uh, I kind of need that. That's important to my survival. It allows me to move. It allows me to get out of here without having to resort to literally flying up out. What a pain in the butthole. I won't have put that. Is it that stupid quick stack option? Let's put my magic mirror away. If it is, I'm not going to be happy. 
I think I have one more somewhere around. If I don't, then that means the magic mirror is gone, and that means we have to do another search of a brand new world looking for a magic mirror just because the game has decided to mess me around. Right, we're going to fly over here to this location here. That was pretty good, actually. Magic mirror on the wall. Where the hell are you? I quick stacked in like this location, didn't I? Ammo. Seriously, guys, where is. Okay, I have some. We'll take one of these out. But if you guys can tell me what happened to my magic mirror, I would absolutely love to know. Go back and watch the footage, leave me a comment, let me know where the hell that thing went. Because I do not have a clue. Not a uh, Scooby. Did I put it in the disc? No, I didn't. Where did it go? It doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. Anyway, Plantera has been dealt with, unless there's another one. There isn't another one, which means you need to wait for daytime to sell stuff. Is that what I was doing? Unopen crates. Then we're going to, what we'll do, actually, is we'll go to a brand new world. While there, we'll fight all these pirates loads of times. That will get us a good chance to get the pirate staff and also some of the new golden furniture. Uh, that was added previous update that I didn't know about. Then we will also do some mining while there for either gold or platinum. We'll bring that back here, we'll craft that into bars, and then we're going to fight some King Slimes, because now not only do we need the trophy, there are also three new items that he has. The Slimy Saddle, which is a mount. The Slimy Gun, which is a not a weapon, I think. it's a, I think it's like one of those non-hating weapons, like the Water Gun. And also the Slimy Hook. So there are four items from him that we can get, and they're high chance as well, 25% for the saddle, 33% for the hook and the gun, and then of course the 10% for the trophy, but we all know how well 10% works for that trophy. So, we'll do that after I've opened all these chests. I really want to open this golden crate. You know what, I'll do it now. Why not? Fingers crossed we get the uh, hardy saddle, is that what we want? It's been so long I don't even remember anymore. Fingers crossed, everybody, and toes crossed. Oh. oh. My brain completely shut down then. That was like the tone you hear when your TV's not working. We actually got it. We. We got it. Guys, we got it. Guys. We got it. We got a new mount. That we're never ever going to use, but at least we have it. Summons a rideable turtle mount. The hardy saddle. Let's give us a rock. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, it's amazing. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right. Screw this world. This world sucks. We're going to go to a new world. Please don't kill my pupil while I'm doing this. I can't afford to be... Open the chest with the things in it. Put that in there. Right, we're going to have to quickly just clear some room out. Get back, guys. Get back. We're going to dump everything we've got. We need to get back. What else do we have in here? Adamantite. We'll just throw that in here for now. We need lots of space. Grenade launcher in here. Bombs in here. And then this in here. Right, we're out of here. Screw you guys. We're going to a brand new world. We're going to do some mining, do some fighting, do whatever else it is I said I was going to do. I'll be back in it. You know what? Actually, I'm going to call this a day. We will start this next recording session because I've been recording for three and a half hours-ish. Close enough. Right, I'll be back tomorrow maybe. Maybe in a few days with the hot weather coming up. Ah, we'll see. For now though, goodbye.